All right, welcome uh, all the fans of MD and all our supporters on the online uh, website, magazines, all the fans around the world. Here we are, th four time Miss Olympia Jay Cutler in the Mecca of bodybuilding, Venice, California, Gold's Gym. Here, uh, coming out here yesterday to do some uh, training for a few days as I'm splitting time between Los Angeles and Las Vegas in my quest for the 2011 Mr. Olympia. Uh, going for my fifth title, and I'm feeling real good. I've been back to training now for about three weeks, and uh, we hit some legs out here in the Mecca today. I'm um, training with, uh, with Big Phil and Eric, and uh, you guys that have been following online, you've been seeing that I'm back in the mix. You know, I'm coming back for that fifth title, and uh, I know um, the way things are going right now, I'm feeling great. I had a good two and a half month layoff, and uh, my, my training's been great. Um, today I'm up over 290 pounds, and uh, I'm gaining quick. So uh, back up eating to speed and uh, training, you know, almost to, to full capacity now. We, we banged out some legs, quads, and hamstrings today, about a two hour workout. So, you know, we came in the gym, we warmed up our knees. I always start with a little uh, leg extensions just to get a little blood in there. Uh, we started on the, the Icarian uh, leg extension, did three or four sets there, uh, warming up the legs just to get the knees uh, in tune for some leg presses, which we moved over to next. Banged out, you know, repetitions between uh, 12 and 15 on those. We did a couple warm-up sets and then banged out, I think, eight, eight plates uh, each side. Um, really deep. We were trying to really slow the reps down and do some deep... Uh, deep uh, movement with that you know we're really trying to get resistance on the quads so as you can see in the video um, you know we're doing a lot of slower motions on the way down really controlling the negative that's what I'm focusing on this year to bring in the deeper fibers not necessarily trying to build a, a ton more muscle I'm of course trying to get gain more fullness but not necessarily size as I'm trying to keep that detail in there and if you gain too much size you know you lose that detail so uh, we all know you know I'm known for my legs so I'm just trying to, to you know make my legs even sharper for the stage um, so we banged out the leg presses, uh, moved next to the uh, hack machine, which uh, was a free motion type movement where uh, it's a plate loaded machine. Um, with that, you know, we, we did uh, four sets. I think I went up to you know, six or seven plates on that and, you know, banged out the same thing. Slow repetitions, trying to be deep, trying to get that squeeze in the quads, really working the front quads uh, closer to the knee, the teardrop. Um, and also the upper thigh um, on the way up to the top, but you know, just keeping full control of those. Uh, I think we focus on 10 repetitions there. I'm trying to keep my trying to keep my repetitions down a little bit, um, as you know, I'm trying to gain more fullness right now, and not necessarily uh, try to rip the quads. So as the show gets closer, the repetitions in increase a little bit by two or three. Come on, come on, Jay, put it down. Come on. So we, we did that, and then we moved um, on to leg extensions, which is a little different from. Um, you know what most people do they usually do leg extensions at the beginning or at the end and as you see you know we started with light leg extensions just to warm the knees then we moved into actually full-on heavy sets uh, doing 12 repetitions really trying to squeeze you know we did four sets there really trying to get the squeeze holding uh, having a pause at the top of the motion and then of course again, controlling it as much as possible come on concentrate come on come on All right, there you go um, and then we moved over to some squats on the Smith machine. You saw that we did, uh, you know, really deep squats. And what I'm doing with these, the same kind of thing with the, with the leg press. I do um, slow motion on the way down. I try to, you know, drop slow, and I hit the hole and then bounce back up, explode to the top, really trying to get that squeeze and contraction. Eight or ten repetitions, that's all I'm trying to do on the squats. And, of course, I use the Smith machine, which, you know, I, as you guys have seen in my training last year, I, I seem to focus a little more on doing control. Went up to 365 pounds which felt real good, um, you know, for after all the exercise I did, you know, it's, I did 315 last week, so I moved up, you know, a quarter, um, you know, probably topping out at four plates once I get full back up to speed, but what I'm really just trying to focus on is really the contraction. I don't want to really focus on as much weight as possible. Um, I just want to move in a fluid motion and really get that squeeze, and as you see with a few of those sets, I sat in the bottom of the movement for a pause of about two seconds and then blasted my way to the top. I mean, I pretty much went to failure. I know Eric had to help me with the last set uh, to get me out of the hole. Um, we moved over next to the uh, inverted leg press, um, which that was, you know, probably the top exercise, you know, as t far as fatiguing. Um, it's an inverted motion, so I'm laying on my back and doing those, um, which is a rarity. Most gyms don't have that machine, but it really focuses on the teardrop. 
and uh, building closer to the knee. So that exercise, you know, we topped out at, I think, six plates, six or seven plates. And, uh, you know, same thing, 10 repetitions, really just trying to get that squeeze, focus on, uh, you know, really just finishing off the quads. And, you know, that was our last movement pretty much. And uh, my, my legs were pretty much spent at that point. So um, we moved over to do some hamstring exercises, which... Uh, you saw we started with the seated hamstring curl, which is probably one of my favorites because, you know, pretty much it's all hamstrings. And you see, when I was leaning forward in the machine, I was really trying to get that squeeze and contraction. It's a little easier when you lean forward at, rather than lean back. You can really get that squeeze and get over your legs so you can really get that, that tightness in your hamstrings and stretch it out. We did the one leg uh, extension next, which... Uh, we focused on uh, isolateraling the legs uh, one leg at a time, really getting that squeeze. Ten repetitions, we did four sets there. Um, really just trying to get that squeeze. By that time, you know, my, my hamstrings were pumped to the roof anyway, just from doing quads first and, of course, uh, the seated leg curls first. But with those, um, you know, I feel they bring a lot of detail in as we get closer to competition, but it just really helps to focus on one leg at a time. Um, next, moving over to the lying leg curl, which you saw we put a pad under our legs a little bit to give a little more stretch to the to the hamstrings. Still focused on, t uh, I think, 11. We did 11 reps or 12 reps on those. Um, banging out four sets went pretty heavy. Um, really get that burn. You know, we had a couple spots in there to get uh, that full extension, that hold at the top. And you see I really did a lot of controlling that movement, the negative, just like I did with the quads. Uh, Two more, Bill. Come on. That's it. Come on. Um, and then pretty much finished up with, uh, with uh, stiff-legged deadlifts, which we didn't go super heavy. Um, we just went for that squeeze and that stretch, um, really focusing just on the hamstrings, not bringing any of the lower back in there, um, just bringing the bar down. And as you see, as we went down with the bar, we went outwards, so we got a little more stretch into the glute and hamstring. Uh, great finishing exercise, stretch everything out. And then I finished off with some stretches and... Uh, you know, pretty much uh, that wraps up my leg day. You know, I'm, I'm getting a little better every week. I was here last week training legs with these guys last week. And, you know, I'd have to say I was definitely more pumped this week um, as I continue to get more food in me. And, uh, of course, uh, the weight starts piling on a little bit. But um, main goal for, for 2011 now, since it's now January, is, you know, I just want to wanna improve on um, conditioning um, in detail. You know, I want to create a better illusion with my physique. Um, I'm focusing, you know, training just heavy. I'm starting, you know, the beginning phase of just trying to get the mass back after the layoff. I mean, I was down to 270 pounds when I took time off, and uh, it feels great being back. I want to thank everyone for the feedback every day through the emails, the Facebook, um, follow me on Twitter, um, and, of course, uh, musculardevelopment.com. I want to I wanna thank them for, uh, you know, we got, we're, we're killing the website. I mean, you guys see the best videos out there, and, um, all the up-to-date material you guys are seeing Jay Cutler pumped all over the you see you know my Christmas pictures and I'm just trying to get everything I can for you guys to see what's going on in the life of Mr. Olympia um, my whole goal when I walk away from this sport is to be recognized as you know besides you know Schwarzenegger be one of the most uh, publicized Mr. Olympias ever um, and I just want to thank everyone for all their continuous support I want to thank Steve Blackman and his staff uh, muscular development I want to thank Muscle Tech for their great sponsorship um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Chic Sports um, for, of course, all the great uh, straps and belts. I got into my new belt that's now uh, on, available through Chic.com, and uh, you know you guys can see the Jay Cutler signature belt. Um, Smart Shake. Uh, I want to thank them for, uh, you know, I'm now endorsing the Smart Shake, which uh, you know has a little bottom to have some protein in it. You guys are going to see me at the Fit Expo on uh, a few weeks uh, there at the Smart Shake booth. I'm um, really trying to promote that. Um, you see a big campaign in 2011. Um, you know, Jay Cutler Classic, uh, New England Bodybuilding Championships. I'm having a third contest this year um, in Las Vegas, uh, April 23rd, called uh, the Jay Cutler Desert Classic. Uh, so any of you guys interested in, uh, you know, competing at a Jay Cutler show, I now have it on the, on the East Coast and the West Coast. So between Massachusetts and Vegas, you know, you can... Uh, you know, we'll show sure we'll be covering it with MD, and uh, you know, I, I just want to continue to to hear from the fans. Uh, I want to thank, um, you know, like I said, all the sponsors and everyone that makes this capable of me uh, competing. NPC, IFBB, um, 
you guys are the best. Um, I'll continue to put out these videos, and uh, you guys are going to see as I progress to 2011 Mr. Olympia, and hopefully I will be uh, once again the champion and bring the title back to uh, Musket Development. So for now, here we are, the Mecca bodybuilding you guys see back there. The one and only Mecca, Venice Beach, California, where the temperature was 77 degrees today. So all you people in the in the East Coast that uh, were buried in that snowstorm, I, I wish you the best, but we're sitting in the sun in California. So until next time. On the way. It's on the way.